WVTM 13 weather. The last weekend of July is upon us and it is hot and humid. Hopefully you have plans to soak up the sun, but also attempt to stay cool. The highs today in the upper 90s as well as tomorrow do have some isolated storms in the forecast. That's our best chance at cooling off these days, but they do look isolated, so not a lot of widespread storm activity. Temperatures climbing. We're in the 70s now by 9, 10 a.m. in the 80s. Early afternoon, the 90s, and then once we get to 3, 4 p.m., I think we'll be in the mid to upper 90s. Yesterday's high at 95 degrees will at least hit that today, if not be a little bit warmer. Isolated storms through the afternoon and evening. We'll look at coverage in just a few minutes. The heat index today is a big story. There's a heat advisory across central Alabama as these values climb to 105, if not above, to the west in Tuscaloosa County, Pickens County, even Fayette at 108 this afternoon, Etowah County 105, Talladega 107. As you can see, it is hot, it is humid. You couple the high temperature air and the moisture, and this is what we get. Can be dangerous if you spend a lot of time outside. There's this area of low pressure, disorganized showers and storms right here along the east coast, moving into the Carolinas. Not really affecting us, but I will mention that it kind of helped surge some moisture into our state yesterday yesterday and uh, doing the same thing today, but not as drastic of an impact here in Birmingham all across central Alabama. WVTM 13 Lime Doppler isn't tracking any showers or any storms early this morning. This afternoon, I do think we'll see some isolated storms. Maybe the coverage isn't as great as yesterday, uh, but we'll see. I think 4 or 5 p.m. and then even after to the early evening hours, some storms possible. Future forecast isn't really revealing much, but this is just just an idea, just a depiction. It's not exact. I also mentioned this complex of storms. It looks like it comes in early Sunday morning. Will it hold together? I'm not so sure. We'll keep an eye out for it. All summer we've seen these big complexes of storms come in. We call them mesoscale convective systems, and it's just a big complex of storms. Typically they break apart before they get to us here, and with our big heat ridge to the west, that kind of um, helps suppress storm activity as well. But we'll watch. I do think we'll see some isolated storms today and tomorrow. Any of these can be heavy in spots, a lot of heavy rain in a single location, and then some gusty winds, a possibility too. Even small hail, although I don't think that's very likely. Into the first week of August, temperatures continue to climb. It's very hot on Tuesday. That's August 1st. We're at 96. Not any big chances of rain. We'll see some isolated to scattered storms next Thursday and Friday. You're watching WVTM 13.